All right, Dan, thank you. Well, Las Vegas Weekly Film Editor Josh Bell is here with me now. Today we are talking Spider-Man. Yes. I'm going to go out here on a limb. I was a big Spider-Man as a, a fan as a kid. Oh, yeah. And so yeah. my Spidey senses are saying, <laughs> yes. you like this movie. I did like it. See, I knew it. And I it's, knew it's it. nice to be able to say that about okay. a Spider-Man movie because I think uh, the previous iteration of Spider-Man right. with Andrew Garfield was not the best. Okay. Uh, those movies were a little cluttered. They didn't really know what they were going for. And so we've got another reboot, which is maybe, I don't know, people are maybe tired of starting over with Spider-Man. Yes, okay. But uh, I think this is a good way to do it because he's been able to uh, be integrated now into the Marvel movie universe. Uh, because of all the various rights issues, he kind of had to be on his own for previous movies, but now he's teamed up here. Uh, so he appeared in the Captain America movie last year. At the very end, and right? Yes, he yes. showed up, made a fun little appearance, and now we've got uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Uh, has a big supporting role in this new Spider-Man film. Um, and the plot really hinges on a lot of connections to other Marvel movies. So uh, that gives him the, a nice context in the superhero universe. Uh, but even that aside, if you aren't a Marvel movie fan, you haven't seen all the other Marvel movies, this is still a really fun take on the uh, Spider-Man story. Tom Holland, who plays Peter Parker, slash Spider-Man. Uh, he's a, a younger uh, actor playing the part this time. Yes, he seems really got him, young. He got him back in high school, uh, yeah. but it, it fits really for the, the teen kind of comedy drama that they're going for here. And Michael Keaton is great as the Vulture, who's oh, the villain. Oh, I didn't he was in it. Yeah, he's okay. back, in a, back in a superhero movie as a villain this time. Uh, you've got the Vulture versus Spider-Man, and uh, he really brings uh, a lot of depth to that role, which I think is not always the case in Marvel villains. That's one of the things that the Marvel Marvel movies kind of stumble with, uh, but Keaton is really good as this character who has a lot of sympathy to him, and it helps when you can balance the two sides like that. All right, and so. so I assume it's rated what PG or it's PG thirteen. I mean, there's okay. definitely some some action violence in it. It's right. not super intense. I think if you've got kind of slightly older kids who are into superheroes, this is a good one to take them to, maybe better than some of the more uh, serious, intense Marvel movies like yeah. Civil War and that kind of stuff. It's got humor, it's got high school drama. Uh, it's a fun movie. It's not necessarily reinventing the superhero wheel, but it does what it sets out, sets out to do in a fun way. All right, very good. So it's a big hit here. I think it's good, and it's gonna be a big hit. It's All tracking right. to make a lot of money this All weekend. All right, Josh Bell, as always, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.